Good morning, everyone. We were on a bucket list lake for almost everybody today. Lake Champlain put in in, I don't know, about halfway between Plattsburgh and Ticonderoga. I can't remember the name of the little town I'm in, but it's something with a W boat launch. So anyways, we are, it is just ticking over to time we're allowed to get out there right now. So we, we can take off 30 minutes before local sunrise. So I think local sunrise is like 5.38 this morning. It's like 5.08 right now. So about to pull some rods out and get out there and go fish a little bit. A lot of little matted grass around where I'm at right now. Gonna try to find some little cuts and stuff with some little high percentage stuff in it. You know, maybe some man-made structure, some hydrilla mixed in with that, or else try to graph around some of these sand flats for some rock piles or something like that. So gonna mainly target largemouth this week. 100%, I'm not 100% committed, but I'm like 95% committed to largemouth. Gonna also graph around for a couple smallmouth places and see if we can find something like that. Primarily today, we're gonna look for that because the structure that's offshore is gonna be a little more consistent for days out. You know, if I can find some rock piles or, you know, some kind of a rock vein or a big slate rock somewhere, that's gonna be more consistent for a long time. Whereas if I find a large mouth on a shallow flat, they might be gone tomorrow, but you know, they might. So I would wanna wait till close to the tournament to find that. So let's get out there right now and see what we can find anyways. All right, so I didn't have the camera on. I uh, tried to turn it on actually while I was fighting fish and couldn't get it to come on. But just caught like a two pound smallmouth on the little whopper plopper, so keep it rolling. Small little smallmouth. We found a little bit of a brush pile out here. It's really just one tree, but pretty tightly packed. I mean, it could be a couple trees. I don't know if it's man-made or it floated out of that creek and just kind of got lodged right here, but it's in about nine foot. I guess it might be a little deeper than that now. Probably in about nine foot. Pretty tightly packed, so it looks like it could have one on it. Little bit of smallmouth. But when I grabbed that boulder, I didn't expect to catch that off of it, but oh well. Boy, there's a bunch of little bitty ones there. 33 foot on a big old boater. My boat's sitting in 38, but that right there is actually like 33, 30, something like that. Talking about a bunch. I feel a little bit better. Nope, hooked for me. Well, it is a little bit better. Just a big old rock bass. Big old rock bass. Nice one. What else is down there? I need to get to a school with four pounders like this, or at least threes. Now let's get one of these pads right here.
long skinny one two and a quarter probably Set the hook on him though, I thought I had me something. I did, a pike. These suckers look bigger than they are. That thing don't weigh but like three pounds, probably. But he looks big. Might weigh three and a half. I've had so far today. 288, almost a three pounder. It's like a, I don't know, 214. Finally got a big one out there. There's about a million of them over there too. <clears throat> what about that for a big old Champlain small mouth? I was on St. Lawrence all last week. Hardly caught any of this big. Came over here, I'm supposed to be fishing for largemouth. Find me a good little rock pile and catch me one. So I just had two about this size follow up a little bitty one that I caught. 370. That's a good one. When I said hook on that one, I knew it was a big one. All right guys, so obviously back at the hotel now. You know, this was my first day ever on Lake Champlain. I try to spend most of my time, you know, from, I guess it's called Westport down to below Ticonderoga. And that's a, that's a big section of lake, but I'm really looking for something that fits my style where I feel like I can really catch a lot of fish out of one area and really find a pattern or something like that. So I went down to Ticonderoga, fished a lot that day. The mill full looked really bad. The, the water was really low. There was a lot of slime. There was a lot of bad kind of grass I did, just didn't like. Couldn't find very much good mill full. Did end up catching, I don't know, 14, 15 pounds, maybe 16 pounds all day, which is not a lot of weight on Champlain. So 
after day one really had me kind of second guessing my decision to really fish around tie so on day two i decided to do something a little bit different but day one fish around tie didn't do very well you got to see that missed a lot of fish catches on video caught a bunch cranking and stuff like that just didn't get them on video because i was mostly trying to figure out what was going on in this lake so if y'all enjoyed the video leave a like leave a comment hit that subscribe button hope y'all are enjoying Follow me around the country, practicing and stuff like that. So hit that subscribe button. Tournament days are coming up. Go meet some good videos.